everyone. The Lord be with you and also with you. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. Sometimes I do have to work on being grateful. And I am, of course, grateful to God for all the wonderful gifts he gives to us. But load shedding is happening again. Like the coronavirus, it's not going to go away anytime soon. And we have to learn to live with it. We've not looked after our generators and they are falling apart. And there's also been plenty of greed and corruption within ESCOM, which has added to the crisis. And so wind back a couple of thousand years and we find greed and corruption pervasive there too. And so let's listen to the good news proclaimed in Luke's Gospel, chapter 19, reading verses 45 to 48. Lord Christ, our Saviour. Then Jesus entered the temple area and began driving out those who were selling. It is written, he said to them, my house will be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den <coughs> excuse me, of robbers. Every day he was preaching at the temple, but the chief priests, the teachers of the law, and the leaders among the people were trying to kill him. Yet they could not find any way to do it because all the people hung on his words. This is the gospel of Christ. Praise Christ our Lord. I want to take two thoughts out of today's short gospel reading. The first is to do with the space that we give to God. The temple was the most holy place of the Jews but they had allowed the outer court to become a marketplace. What had started as just a need for pilgrims to buy animals or birds for sacrifice or to change their out-of-town money for Jewish money had grown into a full-scale market full of stalls and people hustling for business. It must have been so very noisy with people aggressively trying to sell their wares the temple court had lost its holiness. Jesus cleansed it by clearing out all that bedlam, restoring it as a holy place. We speak of our bodies as a temple and we meet with God in our hearts and our minds. What is the state of our bodies, our hearts? Are we allowing our bodies to descend into a state of disrepair or do we look after them? What about the state of our hearts and minds where we meet with God in prayer? Have we allowed the things of this world, all its busyness, lots of other concerns to take up that holy space so that there is little or no space for God. Reflect on the amount of time and space that you give to God in your life. Do you think Jesus would like to come and just declutter your life? Each of us needs to spend quiet time with God each day. And the second point, which strikes me in this short passage, is the way that people were hanging on Jesus' words. Sometimes we talk about what it might have been like to have been in the crowds, following him during his time of ministry on this earth. How wonderful it would have been to hear him speak. What a charismatic figure and yet somehow unassuming he must have been. Well, we may not have had that opportunity, but we can still hang on his words as we read the Gospels. In fact, in some ways, we are better off than the people of that time. We can turn to his word whenever we want to, wherever we are. 
His word is always available to us. And I pray that we will constantly turn to his life-giving teaching. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for the teachings of your Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for the record of his words that we have in our Bibles. Thank you for his disciples who recorded them, that we may still read them today. And through the work of your Holy Spirit, we pray that we might be changed to become more like him. Help us to declutter our minds and hearts so that we may have holy space set apart for you. Set apart for you, Lord, to spend time with you each day. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. We pray for our country. Lord, grant us a vision for our land, a land of justice where none shall prey on others, a land of plenty where poverty shall cease to fester, a land of work where all can be employed, a land of openness where all are accepted as equal, a land of healing where hatred and racial prejudice exist no more, a land of peace which is free of violence. Bring this vision to fruition for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. We pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. And today, let's share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and always. Amen. God bless Africa. Guide our leaders, guard our children, and give us peace through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you, all whom you love, and all for whom you pray, now and always. Amen. So, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. May Christ. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Goodbye, everybody. Lots of love to you all. Stay safe. So let this be an offering Let it be the sweetest song to you I will give you everything I surrender my heart To earth from heaven came our redemption Out of the darkness, illumination So freely given, this child of promise Humbly descended to live among us more of you, Jesus, your presence. We make room for you, Lord, we welcome you with adoration. Our worship 
Jesus, it's all for you. Singing hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let this be an offering. Let it be the sweetest song to you I will give you everything I surrender my heart Oh, I do So let this be an offering Let it be the sweetest song to you I will give you everything I surrender my heart Singing hallelujah So let this be an offering Oh yes, let it be the sweetest to you oh, and I will give you everything I surrender my heart singing hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah